in a moment, I'm going to ask you to imagine certain things, but it doesn't matter if you can't imagine all the things I'm asking you to. You might even find your mind wandering quite a bit so that my voice just fades into the background, but that doesn't matter either. The sound of my voice is going to continue to relax you, and very soon now, you're going to find yourself to be more relaxed than you can ever remember. Now, I want you to imagine yourself getting into a large, airy elevator. A truly luxurious elevator with 10 floors to go down. It's warm and comforting inside here and softly lit with a beautiful carpet on the floor and a really comfortable chair for you to sit in. And as the doors glide silently closed, you just lower yourself into this wonderful chair and gaze idly at the indicator as the elevator starts to move very gently downwards. And as each number changes, so you allow yourself to be twice as relaxed as you were on the floor above. As relaxed as you are now, just allowing yourself to be twice as relaxed as you were before, as each number changes, so that when it shows floor 9, you're twice as relaxed as when you first got into the elevator. Floor 8 now, and even more relaxed, moving down into an ever-increasing sense of laziness. 7. More and more relaxed. Floor 6 now, deeper and deeper, settling further into that comfortable chair. Five. Halfway down now. Four. More and more relaxed. Just let go. Three. Deeper now. And still deeper. Two. Calmer and quieter. One. Almost all the way down now. Just one more flow to go down. Two. Zero. And as the doors of the elevator glide silently open, you just rise lazily from the chair and stroll outside. And as you do so, the doors close again with a gentle swish, and you hear the elevator start to ascend again. And now you find yourself in a long corridor, sweeping away in front of you in a long, gentle curve so that you can't actually see the end of it but you somehow know that there's nobody here but you. And you begin to feel even more lazy, even more relaxed as you move further into the inviting death. A soft, gentle light and a comforting warmth that relaxes you still further with every step you take. And as you just continue to move lazily and effortlessly along this corridor, you realize that it's turning into a sort of tunnel. 
you noticed something else too. You notice that you're getting just a bit too warm for comfort now and discover that for some reason you're wearing a really heavy winter coat. A really heavy, thick winter coat that seems to hang on you like a ton weight. And you decide to take it off. But the buttons are tight and you have to struggle with them for a moment or two before you can undo them. Then suddenly, you're free. And you just slip the coat off and drop it on the floor as if it was the most natural thing to do, feeling mighty relieved that you've done so and a lot more comfortable now as you continue on your way. The tunnel becomes gradually darker and you can see a small spot of light at the far end of it. A small spot of light that doesn't actually seem to be getting any closer, even though you know you're moving towards it, just following one lazy, easy step with another, and marveling at how you can hardly feel your feet touching the ground. After a while, the floor of the tunnel starts to slope gently downwards. You can feel yourself moving down and down and down, like walking down a gentle hill. And you realize that you must be in a huge underground cavern because the small dot of light is above your eye level now. But you can still see it. You can still see it like a small star in the darkness of a night sky as you move on down and down and you begin to find yourself feeling cooler now the further down you go cooler and cooler until you're actually very cold and wishing you'd still had that winter coat that you so casually discarded And by the time the path starts to move up again, you're actually shivering with cold and feeling a distinct drought from somewhere in front of you. It's not long before the upward path levels out again and you notice that the small dot of white light is actually getting closer now, becoming larger and larger and brighter and brighter as you get closer and closer to the end of the tunnel, larger and larger and brighter and brighter until you're almost able to reach out and put your hand to it. And then quite suddenly, you feel the welcoming warmth of the sun on your head and shoulders and you realize that you've left the tunnel and you're in a vast sunlit valley a huge expanse of green and light. You look around you, and to your surprise, the tunnel has completely disappeared. There's absolutely nothing that even remotely resembles anything that could be a tunnel. And you are in the middle of this lush green valley that stretches beautifully in all directions as far as the eye can see. There are misty hills in the distance wherever you look and it dawns on you that this valley is actually a huge natural bowl. There are trees and rock formations, a small forest, and just a little way down the hill you're standing on, a gently trickling stream glittering in the sunlight with a narrow pathway running alongside it. You begin to move down the hill towards the stream, noticing the firm springiness of the grass beneath your feet, marveling at this sense of deep calmness and tranquility that seems to fill every pore of your entire body. 
a tranquility that seems to be all around and within you as you move on down this hillside towards the gently trickling stream. Your tread becomes steadily lighter until you hardly feel the ground beneath your feet and you soon find your whole body becoming lighter, lighter and lighter until you just float upwards, up and up and up, supported by the softest of warm breezes and it all seems totally normal to you, absolutely natural. As you gaze down at the countryside beneath you, you realize that not only are you becoming lighter, you're becoming smaller as well. And the smaller you become, the faster you travel upwards, smaller and smaller, traveling faster and faster until you're moving at an absolutely tremendous speed accelerating upwards and actually beginning to leave the earth behind you accelerating into space with a feeling of jubilation and excitement traveling so fast now you're moving almost as fast as the speed of light becoming smaller and smaller until your body is no larger than a tiny speck of dust and all around you is a soft velvet darkness like a midnight sky with the earth hanging motionless like a great blue and white globe and you feel yourself slowing down slower and slower until you've stopped moving altogether just hanging motionless amongst the stars feeling a part of all creation, a part of all knowledge, part of the limitless space that is the very universe itself. And after a while, you realize that you're beginning to drift slowly downwards, moving closer to earth, drifting down a stream of light that might be a ray of sunlight, closer and closer almost dazzled by brilliant colors and light. Softly, gently, sinking down and down and down until you find yourself enveloped in a beautiful golden warmth with this wonderful, relaxed feeling. A feeling of being a part of everything. That everything is a part of you enveloped in a beautiful golden light and warmth that seems to be somehow all around and within you and you realize that at this 